Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. It's your buddy, 14 Prime. And today, we're taking a closer look at Origins Wheeljack. Now, I know Wheeljack has been popping here lately, thanks to, uh, well, he's Wheeljack, but Rise of the Beast, you know, everybody was up in arms about him, Pablo. And then, it's the most sought-after studio series toy, after Mirage. Um, a lot of people want it. I, you know, have the um, original one that I loved anyway. Then the five pack is being released in G1 colors, which is awesome. Um, and then we get Origins Will Jack. Then I take a look at it. Come on, Hasbro. This is y'all the same people that made Cyclonus. Y'all have made, you know, this, this um, Prime uh, uh, Origins Jazz. Um, and of which look great. What were y'all thinking with that backpack? And then if you keep the tinted windows attached also, now he's got these big black wings that come off the back. Like, I don't get it. I watched Pulse. I see the designers. I see y'all talk about how you made it and working with Ubisoft and how great it was. And he's a, a massive. Why ain't y'all call him for Origins Wheeljack? If you take a look at, okay, which is my favorite, Siege Will Jack. That's spot on Will Jack. You got the face turned around? Yeah. It's beautiful. Look at this back. Look at that. Look at that backpack. Here, let me move out of focus for you. Look at that. That's perfect Will Jack. How'd y'all go from this to this? I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get it. I'm not, I'm, don't get me wrong. That was, that's obviously, if you're my age, that's probably one of your favorite episodes. It was the very first episode when they're leaving Cybertron. Bumblebee is loading up Wheeljack. They, you know, run to Decepticons. Bumblebee gets, and then, you know, and then they have the ring of fire around them and they escape and then the windows are black. You know what I mean? Great. The alt mode, amazing. But y'all couldn't have figured out what to do with that backpack? Come on, man. But that's I'm not I'm not, I'm not trying to be negative to those of you that want it. I might even still see it on clearance at Ross or something and pick it up. But I'm sticking with Siege. I put a poll up last week or a post about Sandstorm, and I just all I said was this better not be what y'all use for this new Springer we've been hearing about. The air has been cleared. They're not using Sandstorm for the new Springer mold. From again, this is a rumor though. Like they could surprise us and then sure enough they do. But from what I have heard, they're just gonna re-release Springer from Siege, which again was one of the greatest toy lines ever, and just do him in cartoon um accurate colors. If you do happen to pick up that Springer, just be careful with the, the there's a piece underneath both right here. They come off really easily. Re every time I transform it, they come off. Um, so just be careful with that. I'm glad that that's what they're doing. I thought they were going to like make a uh, new, new Springer. And then when they said it was going to be like leader class or something like that, I was like even more concerned because I saw that Sandstorm came with the little uh, carrier and the little net and the little, um, you know, the grappling hook that hangs off of the helicopter, which is cool. Speaking of, if y'all are looking for Sandstorm or um, a and check out cmdstore.com. They're in Canada. Uh, it, it might be the, the price difference is like maybe $5 difference, but that way you don't have to wait on us over here in America because you're not going to catch that. It, well, I don't know. You, you never know. But if you want it right now and have to have it, go to cmdstore.com. They're legit. They're awesome. They have the, if you want to compete with like Prime versus Prime and be able to show like a toy that you got that everybody's waiting on, go to CMD store. You'll be surprised. So, but anyway, um, yeah, I just wanted to clear the air. Sandstorm, uh, the new Springer will not be the Sandstorm uh, model or retool. Uh, but as far as Wheeljack, I hope they get that ready. My only, the only thing I want is United Gears. I, as you see, I've got everybody else, everybody else, everybody from the season, from season one, two, three. It might be like two or three stragglers that either I don't care about or I just, I just didn't find them. But Gears, Legacy United Gears, I'm definitely all over that. That'll probably go for pre-order this Thursday for this for Pulse this week or hopefully the next week. But anyway, I'm not going to hold you, not going to keep you. I had a wonderful birthday week with my wife. Well, it was her birthday, if you saw my last video. Um, and I'm back at it. 
One other thing I want to tell y'all, and I, I'm, I'm apologizing to you all. I slowed down making videos for the past couple months, and it wasn't because of my birthday. Well, it kind of was. And it wasn't because I got Devastator, kind of. But um, my YouTube uh, monetization was, like, messed up. I didn't realize, for some reason, um, it was showing that my money wasn't increasing and the money wasn't increasing and the money wasn't increasing. And I was like, something is wrong. And apparently I had to take out the money YouTube owed me for it to show what they actually owed me. Everything's back. Everything's straight. <laughs> and now I will be dropping many, many, many videos back to back to back to y'all as the next weeks and days go by. Uh, but yeah, I was like, you know what? Wait a minute. Hold on. Something ain't right. And I just was like, I'm taking a break. I'm just playing with my toys to myself. Me, my wife, and my son sitting in here just having the greatest fights ever. Um, and I was like, I ain't recording nothing. So sorry, YouTube. Got my check. We all good. It's your buddy, the 14 Prime.